iPhone with Refresher Braille Braille Display. Basics in moving around your iPhone. Lessons at www.yourtechvision.com. Okay, we're going to go ahead and go over some basics today on the iPhone, since that's uh, major questions that keep coming up. I have my uh, iPhone and Braille Display paired, and I'm going to go ahead and move around my home page on the iPhone and you can exclusively use the Braille display in order to control the iPhone. What uh, works on the iPhone also works on the iPad and the iTouch. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my joystick on the refresher Braille and I'm going to move uh, move the joystick to the right just to move around Calendar. my display. Seven. Photos. Camera. YouTube. <clears throat> Stocks. Maps. Weather. Notes. Utilities. Phone. iTunes. App Store, 8 new item, Game Center, Settings. I'm going to take you to into happen. Settings so I can show you the basics of uh, what you want to turn on in order to make this iPhone uh, available to you uh, so you can use it independently all the time. So I'm going to press straight down on the joystick to open Settings. Settings, VoiceOver, Accessibility, Back Button. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and move through our accessibilities by pressing the joystick to the right again. Voiceover, heading, voiceover, on. Double and tap to toggle setting. The first thing you want to do is turn on a voiceover, and if it was not on at this point, of course, I would hit straight down on the joystick. But the voiceover is what is actually controlling the Braille display along with your Bluetooth and along with your uh, Braille contractions, and I'll take you through all of that. So let's go ahead and move through our accessibilities. Voice over speak, to select, to active, to scroll, voice over practice, speak hints, speaking rate, speaking rate, including loader, typing feedback, use phonetics, use pitch change, Braille, refresh a Braille, okay. There is the Braille, and of course I would hit that straight down on my Braille display to go into that. Uh, when you're first pairing this, you need to uh, type in a code uh, for it to pair. And of course, you go to Bluetooth first, and then you go to VoiceOver, and then you go to Braille. And you want to pair it in the Braille section, because as soon as you hit Bluetooth, uh, and then you hit VoiceOver, your Refresher Braille is searching. Uh, the iPhone and the Refresher Braille are searching for each other, and by the time you reach Braille, it is already looking for it and it will bring up the name of your refresher braille and then you need to of course pair it. Uh, when you're, you, will, you won't have the avail uh, availability of the refresher braille until you actually pair it. So when you are typing in the code, which is one, two, three, four, you need to practice your touch. One, touch, selects it. Two touches, actually it activates it. So with one, two, three, four, you're gonna touch one, double touch one, Touch two, double touch two, touch three, double touch three, touch four, double touch four, and then you're going to go to the top right hand corner of your iPhone to hit pair, and then it will search. You need to do this fairly quickly, otherwise it will not find it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and keep moving down our display. Web loader, but language loader. And we're down to the bottom. Now to quickly get back to the top, I'm just going to do one, two, three, space. Accessibility. Back on my on accessibility, I want to go back, so I'm going to hit straight down on accessibility. Accessibility. General. Back button. I want to go to general, so I want to go ahead. Oh, let's show you one more thing while we're here, which is very, very important. I want to go ahead and go to the very bottom of my display, so I'm going to hit uh, four, five, six, space. Triple click home. Voice over. Button. Triple click home which is absolutely in essential in your independence. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and open triple click home by pressing straight down on the joystick. Home. Accessibility. Back button. Now on the uh, triple click home, this will give you the uh, ability to, when your phone shuts off, you can press your home button three times and basically through this menu you are telling what, uh, what your iPhone needs to do for you. So let's go through your options by pressing the joystick to the right. Home. Heading. Triple click the home button. Heading. Off. Now, most people, of course, they the default is off. Selected. Toggle voice over. My toggle voice over is uh, on because when I hit that, on, that home button three times, it automatically jumps into voice over and gives me the ability to use my iPhone. And it also reconnects with my Braille display. 
Let's go ahead and keep moving through your options. Toggle white on black. So if you're low vision, you can change the white on black. Toggle zoom. If you're also low vision, you can toggle it to zoom. Ask. And you can set it up to actually ask, what do you want to do? Uh, I want to have the toggle voiceover on so it will come on automatically for me and of course immediately repair with my braille display. Okay, so I want to go back home. Accessibility. Back button. And I'm to the accessibility, so I'm going to press straight down on my joystick. And I move back one. Accessibility. General. Back button. I'm going to go ahead and go into general, so I'm going to go ahead and press straight down on my joystick again. General. Settings. Back button. And uh, let's go ahead and move through our uh, ex our settings. General, head, about, button. And let's go ahead and arrive at Bluetooth. Usage, to network, but Bluetooth, on, Okay, button. so at that point, we uh, if we needed to turn on our Bluetooth, our Bluetooth is right there in settings. Okay, so let's move quickly back to home, and that is an H and a space. Settings. And I am Double right back open. at home. So those are some really nice basics to move you around. The joystick is very easy to use. You can quickly move it left or Game right to move where items. you want to go. Double tap to open. When you want to move to the top, it's one, two, three, space. Messages. When you want to Double move to the bottom, to it's four, five, six, space. iPod. Double and if tap you to open. ever get lost, always remember H with space will immediately get you back home. You can also hit your home button on your iPhone, but if you want to completely uh, control it using the, the Braille display, that is absolutely possible. Okay, basics to get you going. Have some fun. Bye.